Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Ant, finally back with another video for you guys. And I know it's been a minute since I made my last video, a little over a month or so. I do apologize, but I've been busy, and I know that's not an excuse to not make one. But uh, stuff's just been crazy lately, uh, just a lot of personal matters and whatnot, so I can't really get into it that much. But uh, just know that I am back for now with all this mail. I do regret not making a video because it sure in hell has stacked up quite a bit. But regardless, I will show you all this, and I still have a little bit more items coming in. And um, trying to think of anything I've missed since my last video. Uh, I do know for sure that uh, the Super Bowl has passed since my last video, and uh, just shout out to the Broncos on the win. Uh, I was rooting for them. I do like the Panthers too, so I didn't really care who won. But to see Demarcus Ware get a ring finally was actually pretty badass. Uh, shout out to the Cowboys for real. Um, all those years of all that hard work and not a damn win. But don't hate, I'm still a Cowboys fan to the grave, but still, yeah, that was pretty saddening um, that he never did, but now he finally got one, now it's the Rangers' turn, shout out to baseball season coming up, opening day, spring training, uh, all that has commenced, but um, anyways, fellas, I believe that's all I uh, can think of that I've missed, I know I'm going to think of some after the fact, but um, yeah, I have this nice hefty little stack of cards right here, um, sure in hell has compiled over a while so I'm going to go ahead and get into these uh, but my first random mail day I guess you want to call that is a nice stack of these white oh shit excuse me these white decoys uh, slash like manila looking uh, bought a stack of these off of Facebook because I'm going to put them behind my Beltre uh, acetate autographs and anything acetate I get from here on out and these are just nice to write notes on whenever you send care packages, which by the way, I'm still working on a handful of them that I plan to go out. They're not necessarily um, holiday packages, but just, uh, you know, thank you for being a good friend package going out sometime here soon. Uh, I've been trying to work on those for a while, but like I said, I haven't been not, have not been on eBay as much as I would have liked to. So um, anyways, fellas, about two minutes in already, have not shown anything, um, but that was my first mail day. The second one was the helmet in the background, decided to pick up a mini one, the speed edition. Um, I know... I've always, I say wanted one, I want a full size one, but I saw this and I was like, hey, that's not bad. I'll eventually use it, or I say use it, but maybe get it autographed or something, because uh, I do plan to start going to some type of, uh, some type of shows. I know I've been invited to some before, and uh, there's some, obviously, TriStar here in the Houston area, um, here in the state of Texas anyway, but they do have some local signings here in my town whenever somebody comes by, like recently we had some... Uh, to you guys, probably no names, but like Jay Novacek and uh, all those kind of people, like old school Dallas Cowboys. And uh, at that, you know, at those times, I didn't have anything for them to sign. But um, yeah, now I'm going to be taking mini helmets and purchasing maybe some more of some of my favorite teams, like, you know, give me a Rangers mini helmet or whatever. But I'm just starting to ramble, guys. I apologize. But anywho, let's see. My first random pickup was just absolutely. <laughs> Dirt cheap, obviously, but nothing big. But out of the Stadium Club uh, 2015, obviously, they're known for like their action shots and whatnot, and I really do like that. So I went ahead and picked this up for the Beltray PC. Mad scratches on that top loader, but there's him chilling up in the dugout. But yeah, I picked that up like literally like a dollar shipped or something like that. It was just something cool that came across. It just caught my eye. I have no idea why. I guess maybe just the action shot itself and look at that face too look at that but anyways yeah that was just something small uh for my base low end of the pc right there next up is out of upper deck trilogy this is out of 2005 i do have the relic autograph of this one but this is just the relic out of 75 lumber piece bat piece at a trilogy pretty nice there you can't go wrong with you know old school upper deck that's for damn sure and next up or oh, let's see are these minis out of the uh top series they were online exclusive sets or whatever i bought a handful of them and uh i'm gonna start off with this one they're the minis that are only available if you bought the set online or some bullshit like that but this is the black um uh, parallel you can see in the corner that's number seven out of ten right there i said mad scratches on these guys i apologize i was in the process of putting some of these minis and mags and i said to hell with it i'm just going to go ahead and make a video real quick since i have the time 
But this is just the regular mini, but they're exclusive to the online set checklist or whatever. And they're a number. This one's a black out of 10. And next, I actually did pick up one of each because I needed these for sure. Because I might get the gold, the one ones here soon. But same thing, different photo. But this is the red parallel out of five. Two out of five. Uh, they have, I want to say, three variations, I think. Well, I'm hoping because I got all three of them. This is the this variation, this photo variation out of five, the red one. Then I picked up this one as well. Still got the tape on it. I have not taken it out yet. And then probably my favorite one out of five as well. All just the tops minis. Uh, like I said, these will be going into a mag. Uh, just, I don't know, I have a soft spot for minis. So I have no idea why. Don't ask me why. But, um, yeah. Just nice little three-piece right there. Uh, the out of five versions. I know I want to pick up. There's one on there right now, but it's ridiculously priced. Let's keep in mind, I got each one of these for less than 20 bucks. And the one-on-one, -on -one, they want like, you know, 70, 75 bucks, 80. At one point, it was 100. They're just being ridiculous, but I know for sure all these were under 20 bucks. So come on, let's get serious. I'll be waiting on that so it'll come down. And next, let's see. Uh, I'll just stick with the bell trick because I have some random pickups coming on up in here. Let's see. Next is this. Oops. Excuse me. Next is this one that I've seen many, many times on Facebook and eBay. But I always wind up losing them or the seller winds up wanting a ridiculous price for some odd reason. I'm not too sure. Uh, I know for sure this one was priced nicely, but the eBay listing was different. It wasn't like Adrian Beltre autograph or nothing like that. It was just Adrian Beltre signed card. So I figured I need to hop on it because it was, you know, so, so priced. And I was like, well, I don't have it and I do need it for the PC. So this is actually out of 1999 Fleer Skybox. Clear Ultra Fresh Ink Autograph. That is hand numbered 478 out of 900. Obviously white edging on it, but I mean, I, I knew what to expect from these older cars and everything, but no complaints. It is PC and it will be PC forever. So uh, yeah, one of his older autographs, probably my favorite, just love his older stuff. But uh, this one's been ducking and dodging me as well. Just uh, I've seen one sell for like 12 bucks once and I was pissed because I missed it. I was asleep. So this one I came across just because I said the listing was a little bit different. Instead of autograph, it said signed. And uh, it popped up. Decided to uh, pick it up, buy it now. And finally added one to the collection. I love that it's hand number two. But yeah, cool stuff. Cool stuff. Anywho, moving right along to some higher end Adrian Beltre. Trust me, I've gotten some nice stuff in. You guys will not even believe some out of the newer NT. Um, this one is out of, I guess we'll go with this one first. Actually, you know what? Let's go with this one. Out of 2015 Triple Threads, the Relic set numbered out of nine. Get some of this painter's tip up off here. Gotta love the jumbo relics, especially the lower number one. You get some nasty patches on these, as you can see. I'll have to start taking this out of the top loader. There are mad glares on these, but got this for a really good price. Um, I've seen these, some people ask for ridiculous amounts on these, like 60 plus dollars. I'm like, you're out of your damn mind. So you can see it's numbered eight out of nine. And uh, yeah, just a sweet four color patch on that one. But like I said, ended with only one bid, which was me. And I'm surprised because I figured it'd go for a little bit more since it's the gold out of nine. But yeah, I'm very stoked for that one. Jumbo patch for the win. And uh, blah, 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 let me see. Let's start with some NT, I guess, now. This one is out of 2014, I believe. Yeah, 2014 National Treasures. This is the made in set with the manufactured flag patch from wherever the player is from. So obviously this one is made in the Dominican Republic. Adrian Beltre, patch auto, manufactured patch auto, number out of 25. But uh, yeah, this is just a nice piece. Uh, I've seen these sell for ridiculous amounts actually, uh, more than I personally think they should go for. And one's, one recently sold for a decent amount, and this one um, 
went actually pretty cheap in my opinion. I was happy it went at the price I did compared to what I've seen them go for. But regardless, that's some nice, nice shining on that too. Nice auto as well. But uh, moving right along, I saw this and I had to have one. I was talking to one of my buddies about it. And uh, next day, one literally popped up. I was freaking stoked for it. It is uh, out of 2014 NT as well. It is one of the die cuts. Numbered out of 25. Not too sure what this set in particular is called. But it is uh, the die cut of the ball with the autograph on the sweet spot. Numbered 5 out of 25. Really wanted one of these, like I said, and I had missed one, and I was—I didn't even know these were being made with him on it. And as soon as I saw it, I needed one, and then one went up for auction the next day, and I was very, 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 very happy. Put in my max bid, I knew it wouldn't go for more than that, and sure enough, it did not. So happy to add that to the PC as well. Um, I'm still working on my Adrian Beltray PC showcase. It has taken a lot of work putting that stuff together, getting everything out of top loaders, and putting them in mags and vice versa whatever the case is it sure is a hell of a lot of work but uh i hope you guys will enjoy it because i know it is a uh, drain the hell out of me and my time but anywho um i'm trying to figure out which way to go next I'm just going to these real, real quick i don't think i showed any of these in my last video i don't even think i had any of these but shout out to one of my homies on instagram he uh, tagged me in a car that he did he did a, a couple of box breaks of a uh, national treasures and came across this and sold it to me on the whim and uh, I was very happy I picked it up because it's very clean. This is numbered out of 15, excuse me. And this is the out of the new NT, which I like. I do like. Don't get me wrong. I'm limited being a Beltre collector picking up his new stuff because he's only in Panini products. But uh, still a fan of it uh, just because it's a very nice car. So shout out to anybody who likes the new 2015 NT. But here it is. Patch Auto. Nice patch on that one too. Number five out of fifteen. Uh, like I said, I was on Instagram one day. He tagged me. I was like, "Damn, I, I gotta have that." Thought it was really nice. Uh, shout out to No Logos for the win. But regardless, it was still a nice piece, and uh, I knew I had to have it. And I guess I liked it so much that I actually happened to have a problem with coming across a few more. Um, let me explain this. I bought one off of him at the same time I was bidding on one and my max bid happened to be basically the same price I purchased it for. So I actually happened, happened to win two. And uh, the first one I bought is nice, but in my opinion this one's nicer when it comes to the patch because there's more color, more break to it. But um, this one's number 13 out of 15. So there's that. Pretty crazy to have those two just, you know, back to back. And uh, like I said, Instagram, eBay, and then of course another one pops up, and I was like, you know, I'm just gonna put in a ridiculous bid, like something you know really low that's not gonna go for, because I know what these other two sold for. And what the hell do you know? They sell for that fucking price, or this one sells for that damn price. Ridiculous, if you ask me. So what I'm hinting at is, I actually have a third one. Number two out of 15, which are not as good patch as the other two, but a patch nonetheless. And uh, this is just ridiculous if you ask me. So I literally have three of these right here. Just because I was being crazy, bought one because my homeboy hit me up. Um, well, this one. And then this one here was the one I probably liked the most. And I won that one on eBay, similar to this price. And then this one sold for a lot lower than these two because I did not think I'd win it. But here I am. With now three NTs. So, yeah, fellas, I normally don't get rid of PC, but I will for dupes. So, I, if anything, I will be keeping this one just because I like it the most. So, if anybody's interested in any Adrian Beltre stuff, I have two right here for trade for sale. If not, I'll probably throw them up on Facebook and line them up. But uh, I'll give you guys first crack at it. But, you know, that is what it is, fellas. So, there's that. Three of those. Still happy. I mean, if nobody wants them, I'm more than happy to keep them. But I figure I could flip it for another PC card. So there are those three. Really crazy to have all three of them. But uh, moving right along here. Next, we have some what I like to call hashtag booklet bonanza. Uh, Beltre has a ton of booklets in the new NT uh, mixed in with some uh, dual combos with Michael Young. My probably my next favorite Ranger of all time. And he's very underrated. People overlook him just because he was not like a home run king and shit like that. But he was like. And people are going to bash me for saying this, but he was like, um, 
I would say the Rangers Ichiro pretty much because he was a hit king and he was always getting on base. He was an excellent fielder. Of course, he got older, so he got a little bit more, yeah, a little bit more seasoned, a little bit more crispy, crunchy, crusty. But regardless, I had some wonderful years watching him play ever since I could remember starting watching baseball. It's crazy, but he is probably, like I said, one of my favorite all-time Rangers. Um, I have a handful of autos of his and uh, been debating on a PC, but I can't find myself to do it because, um, honestly, I don't know why. I can tell you right now, I do not know why. I just want to put my attention towards Beltra at the moment. But uh, regardless, let's go ahead and jump into these. I got some massive booklets from the new NT. I mean massive, trust me. I'm talking freaking massive. So let's go ahead and get into this one first, I guess. I was very happy the way this one showed up in the mail. Packaged very well inside of a priority box, inside of two bubble mailers, wrapped with some other stuff, and actually a booklet top loader. So happy for that. But out of the new NT, the combo signatures out of 10, I had to have one of these as soon as it popped up and I grabbed it. It may have been a little bit OP'd at the time, but um, I'm still happy that I have one. I have, I mean, there's only been like three or four to sell. Granted, there's only 10, but I have not seen too many of them sell, and they probably will start popping up more here soon. But anyways, it is the Michael Young, Adrian Beltre dual autograph booklet out of the new NT. Um... I like it, and then I don't, but that's just me being picky about the logos and everything. But like I said, I'm very, very uh, limited because Michael Young is obviously with uh, Panini as well. I'm signing in newer products, and uh, it sucks, but nonetheless, it's still very nice. I do uh, like that they I have a dual autograph of them, too. Did not think this card would be made anytime soon, to be honest, but now it is. Um, obviously, future Hall of Famer. Um, I'll, I'll be honest. I don't see why he wouldn't be, but a lot of people doubt on him, but... That's what's wrong with, uh, you know, America these days. I'm not just saying just because I'm biased towards him. I really thought he was an awesome player. I mean, whenever he got traded to Philly or whatever the case was, I was actually pretty uh, pretty sad about that. So, yeah, guys, nice little pickup right there. Very, very, very happy about that one. And next is Beltre alone with some ridiculous, ridiculous cards right here. Um, not as happy with this shipping because they shipped it kind of ridiculous on both of these. Kind of just stuffed inside a huge uh, top loader. I uh, wasn't too thrilled, but they arrived safely and uh, left some uh, neutral feedback on one of them. And uh, yeah, let me go ahead and show this one. Because the shipping, especially for the prices on these, they could have been shipped a lot better. But out of 2015 NT as well. Uh, let me see. I'll start like this. This is number four out of five. And there are a lot of variations of this card. I happen to get one of them. Autograph, triple relic. I missed one that was a quad relic. Uh, people probably think I'd be crazy for doing that because it's almost the same card, but it's not to me. Triple relic, autograph, clean autos on his stuff for real. So I'm very happy about that. And uh, number out of five. Like I said, there's a quad relic. There's also a jumbo uh, jersey that spells out stuff like... Uh, I've seen one that says the cycle. I want that one as well as the other one says. Fuck, I don't know what the other one says. It says something weird. Um, but anyways, yeah, I want one of those. Have I be able to come across one or I miss it? And I also want the quad relic. And maybe one day I'll have all of them, but this is a good start right here. Double bat, single jersey, autograph, number out of five, NT booklet for the win, which by the way, I do have NT, not NT, I keep on saying that, booklet mags coming in for these cars because these definitely all deserve a mag. And this last one is the big daddy of them all. Uh, you can still see it on eBay if you want to because it sold for a ridiculous price. Like I put in a max bid, thought I would be outbid. Never happened. Uh, do I regret it? No. Did I overprice? More than likely held to the yes because I paid literally quite a bit for this but it's still gorgeous. Not, you know, least to say right here. So and there's also a booklet out of NC, numbered three out of five. But this is the, I'm assuming would be the jumbo patch set or whatever. But uh, yeah, check this out, fellas. Check this out. Boom. Look at that. Same picture. Nice, clean autograph as usual. But look at the jumbo patch on that one. Very nice. Three color right there. Like I said, this is a very, very sick card. Definitely going to be one of the eye catchers in my PC for sure. Uh, a booklet of my PC player with a clean autograph and a sexy, sexy jumbo patch does not get any better than that. But that jumbo patch is just ridiculous. You see the stitching on that and everything. 
So, yeah, guys, talking about Booklet Bonanza, I was actually going to have a couple of more come in, but I freaking got outbid. I was actually pretty sad because they were actually, you know, decent prices in my opinion. So I really should have five booklets right now, but I um, only got three, unfortunately, but I will be picking up more. But like I said, this is going to be the front runner for my eye-catching PC. Once I get a mag for it, throw it in a mag with a couple of fucking uh, team bags, and we're good to go, fellas. My PC showcase is going to be lit. Anyways... Uh, let's see. Next up, uh, well, actually, that's it for all my build trays. Don't I think about it? That's literally it. Some big stuff for my PC. Gonna love them. Uh, gotta love them. Very, very nice. Uh, but anyways, these next two cards are completely random. Well, one was more random than the other. But uh, let's go ahead and go to this one. Uh, I decided, you know, I talked about my TWO PC. I've unloaded some. I kept my higher end stuff, and I decided that I will still collect the high end stuff. But also, I think I'm going to continue to collect his Chrome autos as well because I, I really do like Chrome. Uh, just the different colors they have and everything. And I figured might as well start picking up some more. I do have the base out of 600 and the pink, and also the pinks out of 75, I think, and the blue wave out of 50. I came across this on a Dallas Cowboy group. A guy was razzing it and uh, ten spotted it. So I'm gonna pull this out. Oh, wait, excuse me, I didn't ten spot this. I got like what, like five spots, maybe. Yeah, I'm thinking of a different card. Never mind. But this one was still very nice to add. It is actually the camo refractor. Shout out to the mad scratches on the top loader. That is numbered out of 99. But it's the camo, did not have this one, now I do. Uh, I just joined a Raz the other day from when I was graded 9510, and I bought five spots again. Unfortunately, I happened to lose that one. was pretty pissed about it, but I figured I could win that one and then just sell this one. But um, I lost it, so I guess I'll be keeping this one. And I'm serious to my homeboy Max, you watching this, man. Let's do a BGS submission. If not, then uh, I guess I'll do it solo because I do have some Chrome I want to submit. Um, Dylan Tate, this T-Well, and actually some more T-Well, actually. But, um, yeah, this is actually very nice and cheap to pick up. Uh, like I said, T-Well Chrome autographs, still going to be picking those up once I come across them. Looking for the black and the prism, the gold. So, we'll see what comes about that. But, anyways, that was that for the T-Well random pickup. And uh, next is a super random pickup. A shout-out to any fans from back in 2006. Well, 2005, 2006. Um, probably one of the most, arguably, one of the best college football games of all time. I was like the hugest fan back then. I still like them till this day, just not as much. Uh, but if I had to choose this team, or if I had to choose a college team, it'd be this, this team for sure. And uh, this is absolutely dope. I know this guy, people would be like, uh, you actually want to collect this guy? Because this could be like a side PC, I guess you could say. But uh, he uh, didn't do much in the NFL, but granted, he was drafted by the Titans. And uh, with a franchise like that, I really feel like you really struggle as a quarterback. Uh, maybe uh, Mariota will prove me a little bit more wrong. But I've seen uh, several quarterbacks fail up over there. And, um, I mean, last good quarterback I've seen up over there was, what, like McNair? I'm trying to think of somebody else, but I don't pay much attention to the Titans anymore. But, um, yeah, ex-Titan, ex-Longhorn. I mean, countless memories with this guy. And he's also Mr. DWI himself, but uh, this is actually out of 2006 Aspire. And it's UT Uni. Shout out to the tape for the win. Vince Young autograph. That's actually a very cool looking autograph, to be honest, with the little tin inscription. Hand numbered 14 out of 100. And it's Texas Uni. Picked this up for a good deal. And I actually have one more coming in that's even nicer than this one, in my opinion. And I saw this, for some reason, I just had to have it. Um, I was a big Vince Young fan, and technically I still am. I know he's been in you know trouble with DWIs and shit like that and all that, but um, I was very disappointed to see that he did not excel in um, the NFL because I really feel like, felt like he would. But uh, it is what it is now. I mean, he's still a part of UT's uh, organization. Uh, who knows if he is anymore now, but he was when I last heard. And um, I watched the... Uh, Football life of the 2006 Rose Bowl. Definitely one of the best college games of all time. People will argue that, but I got to experience that, you know, hands-on, first look and all that kind of stuff. And I remember watching that on uh, my Christmas break from school. Absolutely ridiculous. Was so stoked. And, uh, yeah, crazy, crazy game. Never forget it. And then as soon as I saw that Football Life episode, I went on eBay, picked one up because it reminded me of how much I needed an autograph of him. And then after I picked it up, I decided... 
I might start a semi side PC. Like I said, nothing too big, but his stuff is very obviously decently priced. And I'll always have that memory of the 06 Rose Bowl. So, yeah, that is what it is right there, fellas. A Vince Young Auto. Very, very nice. And uh, no shame in collecting somebody that's off and running. And, I mean, shout out to all the Aaron Hernandez collectors out there. You know what it is. But, anyways, guys, that might be my side PC. Might be picking up. Well, I did pick up another auto, but maybe even more. I prefer it's Texas Uni. Just because that's where I like them the most, to be honest. Whenever he makes it in the NFL, it's kind of, yeah, it is what it is. But, yeah, guys, shout out to that. And that is actually, for now, all the pickups I have. I might be missing something, but if I do, I'll try and fit it in my next video. But shout out to all the N uh, NT, Beltre pickups. Uh, T. Will, Vince Young for the win. Let me know if you have any more Chrome Autos looking for some. Like I said, the black, uh, the gold, the prism. More Vince Young stuff coming soon. More Beltre stuff, hopefully. Anyways, guys, 26 minutes. I apologize. Super, super long video, but I said I did have to catch up, and um, I am now, so I'm glad I made this video. But uh, anyways, if you guys have um, any questions, concerns, comments, you guys know the drill. You guys know where to find me, and uh, I think that's all I have. I'm trying to think before I'm out of here, but yeah, fellas, that's all I got. So it's your boy Ant out of here again, and um, catch up with you guys up on the next trip, and uh yeah, guys, that's all I got. Deuces.